Hey, what's up Tech Nation? This is just a quick little hands-on video of Windows Phone 8.1 Update 1. Now mind you, this is pre-release software and I got it running on my Nokia Lumia 920, which is pretty old, but the phone can still handle Windows Phone 8.1 Update 1, which I'm very surprised at because how old this phone is. So let's jump right on in. For starters, Microsoft has implemented native folder support, which they call Live Folders. And I think the name warrants it all. Like, the folders update live, and I think it's a great way to implement folders into Windows Phone without tarnishing Microsoft's dream of live tiles. So to create a folder, you just hold down on any app, and you connect it to the other app. You just set it on top, and there you go. When the app is inside the folder, it stays at the same uh, size, the tile stays at the same size that you put it in as, and it's pretty neat. So I'm going to add another news app in there, and I'll rename the folder news. So in order to rename the folder, you click on it, and you click on name folder, and I'll name it news, with an E, and I'll be done. And just like that, I have my folder, and to close the folder, you just simply click on the folder. Now when a live tile updates the folder will show it and as you see the CNN app is flipping and it's going to flip back and it's going to be words on the screen and you guys won't be able to see the words or make out what they are but I can make out what they are and it goes between app to app to app to app with any app that's inside the folder and I think that live folders is implemented great in Windows Phone 8.1 and I've seen many people on Windows Phone Center in the forums that have amazing folders and their app screens look, their, their start screens look great and I think uh, Microsoft done a good job of live folders in Windows Phone 8.1 Update 1. Apps Corner is kind of like Kids Corner in the sense that it blocks off the rest of the OS but this one's not rebranded as being for kids so it can go for anything. So to get to Apps Corner you go to delete the settings menu and you scroll down to Apps Corner. Uh, this is how it looks like when it's not set up. So to set it up, you click on tap app, tap to select apps or whatever, and you select the apps that you want visible in apps corner. If you want Cortana visible, you have to go to search. So scroll all the way down to the S's and add Cortana in the search. Cortana does not show up in the C's for Cortana. I do not know why. So add Cortana in there. And scrolling down more, you can uh, disable certain parts of the OS, like the action center or being able to get to the settings menu in advance, you have the camera button, the search button, the star button, the back button, and you can be able to modify tiles. So, clicking the right arrow, oh, and you can also pin it to, to the start screen. So, uh, clicking on the right arrow sets up the apps menu. And you can see if you have an invisible tile or a see through tile transparent, you can see the background that's back behind there. And clicking on an app will open it up. Closing it will close it up like that, and turning off your screen and turning it back on will jump straight to Apps Corner. You will not be taken to your start screen. So in order to get back to your start screen and to get rid of Apps Corner, you hold the power button down, swipe right, let the phone do its magic, which takes a couple seconds. The shade will bounce down, and you slide it up to unlock the phone, if you have a password. And that's Apps Corner. With Update 1, Microsoft has expanded Cortana to many different countries in both beta and alpha forms, but here in the US she gets a slight update. Jen Taylor, who voices Cortana, has done a little bit more voice work with Microsoft and you can kind of tell because certain things do sound more like Jen Taylor and less like a robot. And they also added some more spunk, I guess, so I can say certain things to Cortana and she'll respond differently like, do an impression. and see things like that and I'm pretty sure that there's a lot more little spunky sassy things that Microsoft has added that I haven't found but when I found them out I'll definitely share them on my website but not only is Microsoft updated Cortana to be more spunky and to be more lively but you cannot access Cortana easily in your car via the Bluetooth and for more on that we we'll head to the Soul Mobile. Alright we are inside a 2014 Kia Soul and in order to access Cortana's new Bluetooth through the car speakers, you simply connect the phone to the Bluetooth, which I've already done, 
and make sure that you have your contacts downloaded if you do not have your contacts downloaded then it will not work Cortana shows up as a contact and when you hit the say command button and say call Cortana it will call Cortana on your phone and it will come up and use your phone's microphone to act to access Cortana to search through Cortana or do whatever you want to do with Cortana and I think this feature is pretty it's a pretty cool feature and I think it works best if you have your phone on top of one of those car docks so here it is in action please say a command after the beep call a Cortana calling Cortana say yes to connect or repeat your command yes calling Cortana Show me the nearest restaurant. Here are 10 restaurants near you. And as you can see, see, I kind of, you can hear Cortana, but it works best if you have the phone on a dock where you can actually look at it and mess with it to, you know, access those restaurants. But if you want them to do a reminder, remind me to do this or do that, then this feature is pretty useful while driving. Now, I've only been running update one for a day now before making this video, and I think it's a pretty solid, a pretty solid update. Battery life is pretty much the same. It hasn't gotten any better or any worse. And I, I don't think that's a bad thing. This is subpar, two-year-old hardware, and it runs flawlessly. Like I don't have any issues. It's fairly smooth, and it's about as smooth as one of those phones usually is on pretty much any hardware. And I know it'll probably scream on a quad-core processor with more RAM, but so far I'm liking the update and. There are pl plenty of features hidden in this update, and there's way more that go beyond this video, and it's just a short video, a short little tutorial to show you what's coming. And I will be uploading more videos as I come across more features, and stay connected to the site, technation.xyz, for more information. Follow me on Twitter, at TNBlogOfficial, where I tweet all kinds of stuff. I tweet everything. Stay tuned to the next video.